welcome to our channel. Today we're going to the pumpkin patch. Are you guys excited? Yeah! We're almost there. So we'll show you guys everything once we get there. And our friend Addie's here. And Giselle's cousin Alex is here. Hi Alex. Hi. Are you excited? Yes. What you gonna do at the pumpkin patch? We're gonna decorate the pumpkin. Pumpkins. pumpkins. What are you gonna do Alex? Giselle, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna pick the most prettiest pumpkin. What about you Giselle? I'm gonna make a, a medium pumpkin. Okay. Alright guys, so we're almost there. I'll show you once we get there. Guys, we're here at the pumpkin patch. Look at this. We didn't go inside yet. We're still in the parking, so we're about to go inside. Okay, she found it. Good job. All right. Come on back up here. We'll see if we give these kids a closer look at you too, Eeyore. Now watch as she flies, folks. You know, they are designed to fly in the forests of Africa. So they have these really long tail feathers and very broad, short wings so they can get around the trees and be able to maneuver around the trees. And watch how she uses those feathers when she goes and flying around. You guys over here ready? Yeah. Here we go, Eeyore. Are you ready? You think? Here we go. Nice job, Eeyore. Good job. You see, with Eeyore around those flying grapes, they don't stand a chance at all. <laughs> Eeyore, you did great. That was Eeyore, everybody. Let it go. Let's see what you 
there you go. You can listen to Bill's this nest. That's how they do those. See, in the springtime, when they're trying to build their nest, they find a nice spot up in the tree. They're kind of away from predators and away from us. And they go and find sticks all around and they build their nest so they can raise their family. There you go, buddy. JD, there you go. Good job, buddy. Izzy, you're doing a great job, young lady. Because we got a couple more. Okay, we'll come back. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out for me. Okay, JD, ready? Here we go. Good job, good job. Izzy, you're doing great. Oh, young man, JD, there you go. You got it. There's that stick. Look at that beautiful tail on face. JD, that was a great job, buddy. You got it? Yeah, you got it in there. All right, one more stick in here. Ready, buddy? Here we go. Last one. Get in there. Yeah, nice job. Izzy, you are very brave, and you did a great job. I'll take that for you. Nice hand for Izzy, everybody. Yeah. Good job. Don't worry smaller than a female. So imagine a female would sit about this tall or so. So they're about a third larger size. Around here we do have owls as well. Anybody know what kind of we have in this region? Yell it out. Barred owls? Yeah, barred owls? Who else? Anybody else know? Do you know? Barred owls? Yeah. Great horn owls? Great horn owls? What else? Regular owls? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. For sure. I can't say you're wrong. Yeah, screech owl, right? Yeah, so there are lots of owl species around here. And normally we don't get to see them because why? Why? Because they're nocturnal. That's right. Because they're active at night. So we don't normally get to see them. But here you get to see this guy, little Quincy here. And you can, I'll come up as close as I can to you. So you kind of see all the special features that make these owls owls. What's the first thing you notice about Quincy when you look at him? Big eyes. Big eyes. That's right. How about you, buddy? His claw. <laughs>
touch anything? Touch it. It's okay, look. Dad is touching. Wanna touch? No? Okay. Thank you.